this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge. Challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to reach top level of every career, earn every degree, max every skill, complete all of the aspirations and collections, and do everything you can do for a single sim. Now Carla, this week we are going to work on the next two quests for the Reaper's Rewards event. And then we have to also complete our classes. We have five days left in the term for our communications degree. And we have three more freelance crafter jobs that we need to do to get level 10 of the simply crafted freelance career. Then we'll be working on some nectar making and we also have the Finchwick chicken fair and egg fair this weekend. What are you listening to? World music? No, turn that off. Stop turning on the radio. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make some more nectar bottles. Oh, well you have to brew three of them? That's a lot. Okay, Peter's going to become best friends with Carla and this will basically advance his aspiration to the last level. How sweet. All right, now he just needs to have two adult friends and three children friends, which I don't think his family counts, but the butler might count. Maybe we should talk to her. Okay, I don't know how, but Peter already has a good relationship with Caitlin, but yet doesn't know her. All right, she counts as our first friend. Yeah, I'm not sure why the butler is not counting. Maybe we're already too good friends with her and talking to her is not refreshing it. So sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. We'll just have to make friends with the ranch hand or someone else. Okay, we are now a simply crafted level eight. Now we need to raise our job performance. Okay, then we need to chat with the client through Kambuka and send to the client again. What is our juice fizzing skill, by the way? Ah, it's already max. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter what kind of task we get, but the juice one is nice because you don't have to sit there. So I think we'll keep doing that one. Oh no, Aya, she got the poison. Well, that's not good. Well, maybe it's good and maybe it's not. We should see if she survives because to be honest, you're not a very good butler. I'm not sure that you deserve to be saved. We should probably just save her and fire her though. Okay, we'll read the Ambrosia Society newsletter. And it says, another week, another newsletter. This week, it's time to catch the first ingredient, an angelfish. Ambrosia is a gourmet dish, so it's time to learn the gourmet cooking skill. Is your garden blossoming? Ambrosia requires a death flower. So this week, you will need to graft an orchid in a pomegranate plant. Okay, well, we'll wait until it tells us to do those things. I'm not sure how we're supposed to get some of those items. So we need to fish with bait and travel to Caster's Alley. Well, I'm going to go to Caster's Alley because, to be honest, that's where you're going to get the angelfish. Carla, not again. Why are you wearing that outfit? Okay, we went to Caster's Alley. Now it says fish with bait. Okay, so it doesn't tell you, but you can get an angelfish from the potion ingredient vendor sometimes. And there we have it. We're just going to buy a whole bunch of angelfish. I don't know. We probably don't even need that many. And what else can we buy? Um, well, there's no death flower. Sometimes there is, uh, but we don't really need one because we have death flowers already. I'll get a dirt frog just in case I don't have that, but I think I already do. And there you go. 
Let's go ahead and buy something from all of the vendors. Okay, now it says to fish with bait, so we're going to do that. Oh, catch an angelfish. Seriously? I bought one from the magic realm. What if I just put one in my inventory? Will that count? Or do I have to actually catch one? Oh, it counted. It counted. Okay, so if you buy an angelfish from the magic realm, just put it in your inventory and that will count. I did not want to catch an angelfish. If you had to catch one and you want to actually catch one, you can also buy one from the magic realm and then put it in a pond where the angelfish is the only one available. So if it wasn't in the magic realm, but you had had an angelfish before, but didn't currently have one and didn't want to cheat, you can come into build mode and make a pond. And just come into the pond objects and put a fishing allowed sign, which has to go like in the center. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it cannot go on the edge like the normal fishing signs in the world. It has to go in the middle where it's deep enough to be fishable. And then when you stock it with fish, you can pick which fish you put in it. And if you previously had caught an angelfish, you can just choose the angelfish, hit OK, and then you will have an unlimited supply of angelfish and you won't have to worry about getting other catches. OK, now we need to read the intro in the Green Lady's Tome. Do we have the Green Lady's Tome? Maybe that's a reward item. OK, so I have to claim the rewards first. And this is why juice fizzing is so nice for the crafting career, because I just load the ingredients and wait for them to be done. I don't have to sit there. OK, so yeah, hopefully I can claim it. Or was it previously claimed? Oh, it's previously claimed. OK, well, we'll go ahead and claim these anyway. We have the trad goth boots or trad goth buckled boots. Then we have the Sugar Skull Freezer Bony, the Bird of Paradise, which I don't really need that, but okay. The Grimm's Cruiser, it's a bike. And that's it. Okay, so we have that book in here somewhere. Where is it? I know I didn't just sell it. Or maybe I have to buy it? I don't know where it is. Where is a bookcase? Can I buy it? Do I even have a bookcase in here? I don't think so. Why do I not have? Oh, there's a bookcase. Okay. No books. Well, I cannot buy that book. All right. Well, this kind of sucks. Where did I put it? Did I even get it? Well, that's completely unacceptable. I can't read the intro in the Green Lady's Tome because I don't have the Green Lady's Tome. Either she took it out and started reading it and put it down somewhere and I left it, or she didn't get it. I'm pretty sure that I got it though. How do I get it again? Well, thank you to these two people who decided to upload it to the gallery. Um, yeah, I kind of needed that. So if you guys kind of lost your tome and don't know where it went, thanks to Atomic Caregiver 9 and Sarah Beth 6701D, you can just get it off the gallery. Okay, so we'll read the book intro. That's kind of cool how it has the smoke coming out of it. Kind of like the Grim Reaper smoke. Okay, it says with the Green Lady's Tome, you can quickly gain the skills you need to cook ambrosia. This book will build your gardening, cooking, and gourmet skills. Um, yeah, I don't need it. Thanks, though. Oh, and she puts it down. It's probably somewhere in this house or maybe at a lot where... I put it down and I have no idea where it went. So anyway, and there goes the butler putting it away. I did check. Oh, 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 she's going to put it in the bookcase. That's interesting. 
Normally what happens when I have a book and I leave it out is they put it in here, like the Icea chest or the shared book space or the shared household inventory over here. But I checked these. It was not in here. So I have no idea where my original copy went. Okay, so we need to cook a recipe while level 5 or higher. Didn't we already do that? We'll make some mac and cheese for everyone. We still need to graft a shoot to a plant or research grafting. I think I'm going to graft one that would make sense, but I forget what is in the line for a death flower. So we do need an orchid. All right, and we send our last one to the client for approval, and we are now level nine. We just have to do one more of those. Oh, we got the jacket. Thanks, Gidri. Okay, looks like we have no more juice fizzing. Hmm. What do we want to do then? I guess we'll do the candles. Kind of sucks to do candles, but that's what we'll have to do. At least we only have to do this one more time. All right, well, while Carla is doing that, let me figure out what we need to do for the death flower. So we need to graft a pomegranate to an orchid. And how do we get an orchid and a pomegranate? Graft a cherry tree to an apple tree. But what about the lily? I do have a lily shoot already, so I need to graft that first. What does that need to be grafted to? Okay, so we have to graft the lily onto a snapdragon, I believe. Well, let's go ahead and try that. I don't think I'm going to get what I need from grafting anyway, but I need to graft it just because. So we'll harvest all of this first, and then we'll graft the lily onto the snapdragon. Oh, we may need to put the apple tree under cover because unfortunately it is no longer in season. Where are you going, Carla? I hate how she has to go back to where she was where I... No, that's not even where I initiated the action. Why are you going all the way over there? Okay. We are grafting from inside the house. Sure. Okay, so this is now Snapdragon, Orchid, and Lily. Good. All right, now we need to cook a gourmet cooking recipe. Okay, so that should be the last reward. We get this bat fish. And that's pretty much it until next week. Okay, we have class at 1.30 and 3 p.m. So I have to make sure that she doesn't get sent home. I think in order to do that, we'll go to Brightchester and just go to the class on campus. Because what happens when she's at home is that the scare seeker lot trait basically makes people leave her stuff and, well, leave the household items. And the item has to go into one of the Sims inventories. And if a Sim is not on the lot, it will bring someone home from work or school or whatever they're doing in order to give them the item. Now, I'm not sure if that happens with every rabbit hole, like maybe work and school because they have the little uh, thing on their portrait that that doesn't happen with. But it seems with university classes and with doing the university uh, project, basically doing the presentation, that will definitely bring that person home. Because Carla gets sent home every single time. I haven't seen anyone else get sent home. So that is one thing to keep in mind if you have the scare uh, lot trait, that lot trait, oh, whatever the scare seeker lot trait so basically if you have the scare seeker lot trait you can't be the only one on the lot going to a university class or maybe even work in school i think it works okay if you have other people in your household aiden why are you outside and not in your regular winter wear come on don't die on me you're outside be in your winter clothes i know it's the roof but it's still outside Okay, we have sent to client for approval, and that means that we are level 10 of the freelance crafter career. 
So we can switch now. Okay, what we might do now is the paranormal investigator since we're in a haunted house. And I think that might be kind of cool since it is the Halloween time frame. I don't know how much of this we can do without it conflicting with our university classes though. So we have to make sure maybe we do it at night after all of our classes are over so that we have the maximum amount of time to get it done. And I don't think any university degree benefits the paranormal investigator. Pretty sure none of them do. Well, lucky for us, it looks like all of the jobs are at night. So we'll do the first one as an easy one, and then we'll do medium and then hard. Because I think it doesn't really matter what level they are, since we're going to have max performance before we do them. Now we do have to wait until the evening comes in order to do those. So we'll just go back to making nectar. Fire again? Okay, this time it is the butler. Oh no, and Peter. No, see, Peter. Come on, save Peter. Okay, there we go. I don't think the butler has the green circles anymore. Maybe it went away? Yeah, it seems that having the fire guard doesn't stop people from catching on fire when they're too close to the fireplace. That's kind of annoying. Well, here's our first haunted house. We need to present offerings and we need to clear tendrils and hands and things like that. Basically just get rid of all the supernatural stuff. Oh, I guess I should knock on the door. I didn't realize that that was an option. And that was easy. So I basically just earned a reward object. Oh, we got a doll and a strange overgrowth? Weird. I didn't realize that you could get these dolls as rewards. That's cute. You can talk to them. Okay, if it says you don't own it, just put it in your household inventory and you will own it. Did she steal this? Yes, she did. Okay, whoops. Oh, it is Peter's birthday. Well, I guess we're just going to have him age up with a cake. And it's the middle of the night, which means he won't be going to school tomorrow. <laughs> Happy birthday, Peter! Oh, he got romance level three right away. Okay, so what can we give him? I think there are some traits that allow you to get more character values, but I don't think that he really needs them. Maybe we'll just make him an overachiever so that he gets the skill gains, even though that's probably going to be a little bit more difficult since he won't be able to make friends, but he'll be outgoing. And then he needs to complete an aspiration. Maybe we'll do one of the teenager aspirations. And we'll do the goal-oriented one. Which makes him more relatable. And hopefully will allow him to overcome this overachiever issue a little bit. And he's a notable newcomer. But he also Ooh, needs well. a makeover. Why did you keep that hair? Your hair should be pink. I don't understand why he has that hair. Hayden has brown hair. And then Carla has pink hair. He should have pink hair. Okay, so maybe a slightly different version of the braids. Because this is the kind he had as a toddler and a child. So maybe now he uses this version. But he's definitely getting the pink hair. Okay, Peter's final look. So I went with kind of a little bit nerdy, but also a little bit teenager-ish. 
So his look is going to be the same for an adult also, but that's just because I don't like doing makeovers. Okay, so this is his everyday, his formal, his athletic. Um, I did not do the sleepwear. Whoops. Let's just give him some pizza underwear. <laughs> now he's got to wear a shirt. He's at home. Okay, maybe that one will do. So then we have his party look and his swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. Okay, I'm going to set his sexual orientation and also his turn-ons and turn-offs because that's how you get satisfaction. So we'll say he likes messing around and physical intimacy. Huh? Hayden, you're having a steamy exchange with this person? No. <laughs> I know she's flirty, but you should not be flirting with her. Now, unfortunately, with the goal-oriented aspiration, we have to do homework five times, and only regular homework counts. Extra credit homework and the projects do not count. So you have to wait five whole days in order to get past that step in the aspiration. And to be honest, we're going to get an A in high school pretty much on the first day and then graduate early and then what I will have him do is enroll in university and maybe we'll do the esports gamer career and that's an activity at university where you reach the top of the esports gamer and then you can get pretty far in the esports career. Oh, look how cute. Hayden and Carla are downstairs at the table, both doing their work. Carla's doing her university homework and Hayden's grading papers. Okay, this is a medium one. So we have some blue ghosts and it's supposed to have... Okay, you can't even commune. You just have to present an offering. I was about to say that communing is supposed to increase the chances of the offerings working, but for some reason you cannot commune with the blue ghosts, or maybe you just can't commune with the ones that are not on your property. I want to focus on giving the ghost items instead of breaking down these other things, because that actually gives me collectible things, although this one's off the lot. Yeah, if it's off the lot, it doesn't appear. That sucks. If you're at your house and you have something off the lot, it'll go into your household inventory. So check that. I'm not sure if the ones at other people's houses go into your household inventory. Well, I think this one was pretty easy. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we should only do hard ones. Okay, we have reached median level five and we are summoning Bone Hilda. So this is something that actually does take from your energy. If you have the never weary trait, you can lose energy using the median skill. Okay, it wouldn't be Halloween without summoning Bone Hilda. Hi, Bone Hilda. Let's introduce ourselves. No, 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 no. Let, 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 let's be best friends with Bone Hilda. Okay, he has the go ahead to invite some friends over for a sleepover at 5 a.m. <laughs> it's not time for a sleepover, but okay, sure, we'll go. Okay, we'll ask Carla for permission to go to the event and see what she says. Even though it's 5.46 on a school morning. Okay, so he's going to the sleepover. Oh, it's Winterfest! There's actually no school today. Well, that sucks. I wanted him to get an A today. Oh, he just went to the sleepover. Okay, well, that's kind of lame. I expected him to actually be 
playable, but no, he's not playable. All right. Well, he's not going to school, so I guess it's fine that he went to a sleepover. Oh, no, it's not a day off work or school. He will need to go to school. Because I actually checked that off to where I didn't want Carla to take days off. So holidays are not days off. Um, he needs to come home before 8 a.m. That's fine. Graham, what are you doing here? Is one of the chickens dying again? Really? Okay, I'm going to send him alone and turn off his follow messages. Go to school. Because I want you to get a good grade, and the best way to get a good grade is to actually go to school. Because you need to get an A. I had him do extra credit and a project and turned the lot mode to good schools. So he should get an A today. And we're going to study hard. Yeah, see, it's almost all the way into excellent. So hopefully he gets an A. And we only have nine more bottles of nectar to go. And I'm going to be able to get the 100,000 simoleons almost immediately. Because even if I do not have enough... Um, okay, so yeah. Goldie is being taken away by Grim. Thanks for that, Grim. Anyway, as I was saying, if I even if I don't have enough to make 100,000 simoleons with the nectar bottles that I have, I can use my magic spell, Duplicado, and just continuously sell them from my inventory. So that's one method of cheating I will allow. And why aren't you going to school? You're supposed to wake up when it's school time. Well, I guess I have to manually wake them up if I manually said they had to sleep. Don't know if any of them are finely aged. No, it doesn't look like any of them are finely aged yet. That's kind of disappointing. Ooh, Peter has two different tests today. Let's study both of them, I guess. Okay, small performance game. I just didn't want a performance loss. Yeah, because he needs to get an A today. Oh, and he's kind of tired. I should have had him drink a potion before he left for school, and I completely forgot. Oh, and we're getting a disaster on Wednesday. I think it was just an earthquake, though. Yeah, looks like earthquake. Now, Carla, go back to your nectar making. Where are you going? I think I actually want to make every single bottle of nectar, though, and have all of them finely aged and excellent. So I should probably work on that. We already have fruit nectar, energy nectar, berry nectar, and vitality nectar. We should make some apple nectar next. I think there is a nectar recipe for all of the occults, too. So yeah, that might be something that we need to work on. Okay, I need to make sure the have a child earn an A in high school is active for when Peter gets home from school. Hopefully it will work when we're not in the same zone because Carla is uh, at university. She kind of has to be because of the way that the classes have been bugging out on me. I don't want to take a chance. So if it doesn't work with Peter, what we'll have to do is just, you know, have Carla at home with Brennan, one of the other two when they get an A. Okay, that completed the milestone. And now she's not going to university class. So I might have to go back to... The main screen, I don't know why, but every once in a while when I'm at university, it kind of bugs out. It's like she's trying to go, but she doesn't go. Okay, now we need to mentor our child three times, have a child complete an aspiration. Maybe we'll switch to an adult aspiration because I think the teenager ones are all ridiculous. It's hard to do them, and if you don't stay in high school, you can't complete them. 
because a lot of them have to do with after school activities. And if you do the one with the rival, you, your rival is someone that's in school and you have to be part of an after school activity for that to show up. Although the have a child or grandchild reach the top of a career, I wonder if the after school activities count for that. Well, we'll have to test that. Maybe we'll have one of the others do an after school activity. Of course, here I am chatting on and forgetting to hit unpause. It's strange how it comes back to pause and, and not paused randomly when you don't have MZ Command Center installed. Okay, we need to and mentor our back. children. Oh, okay. Encourage their children using the activity table. All right, that might be an easy thing to do. Do we have an activity table? We do. Okay, so we'll do one of the other kids because I don't want to mentor um, Peter because that takes a lot. Why is Oh, Peter's at his after school activity. I was about to say, why is Peter somewhere else? Okay, if you just encourage. I wonder how long that takes to do. And we can we do it multiple times for the same picture? Okay, if I cancel it, could I do it again? Okay, I can. All right, well, I'm just going to do it the fast way because some of these things I don't mind taking advantage of exploits. Okay, so now we need to have a child complete an aspiration. Maybe one of the kids' aspirations will work. Let's see, we have a jungle gym one. And then we have a social, we don't have a social one. We had a child complete an aspiration, but Peter did the social one. Oh, and you need to do your homework. And we need to actually give you a plentiful needs potion. Or maybe we'll just give you a moodlet solver. Why are you about to drink that? Maybe I should make sure that you can't drink it. <laughs> It seems that they try to drink the Spectre Sips that are in their inventory. I'm going to make sure it's not in her inventory. I think you can set these for sale in retail shops. So I want to set one for sale and make sure I have at least one of each kind. So I don't know if they have different colors or different swatches, but we're going to put at least one in the shop. And I can't put it in my inventory. I can only sell it. Well, that's just great. Maybe if I put it in one of the inventories upstairs, I think it can fit in one of these. Okay, yeah, it goes into the ICEA chest. Some things will only go into the ICEA chest, and some things will only go into the shared household inventory type chest. So it depends on what it is. Okay, maybe we'll do the social aspiration with princess just because it is really easy to do that one. Oh, he gave me a Winterfest gift. That's so sweet. A random child comes up and says hello to you and then you give her a gift. Okay, this is supposed to be a hard one. And I guess it's at a residential rental. Um, yeah, because things are so compatible with for rent. We'll have to see how that goes. Why did you go over here, Carla? Okay, Carla is on the case. Let's give a whole bunch of random gifts and hope that they accept them. I keep getting sacred candles and I really don't want sacred candles. Maybe I'll put one in here so that I am a little bit more unafraid of the ghosts they seem to like my offerings when i'm on duty when i'm at my house it seems like the offerings fail a lot well that was still easy it's supposed to be hard for some reason carla keeps throwing up and she doesn't have anything no don't knit she doesn't have any reason to. I mean, I guess it could be that she's pregnant, but I don't think so because she hasn't woohooed 
with Hayden in a long time. And there's no risky woohoo in this game because there's no mods. And then she can sometimes throw up because of her homework or her tests. But yeah, she shouldn't need to. I don't know why she keeps trying to throw up. Well, our reputation is too high. So sorry, Santa, we're going to fight you for presents. Okay, why could I not fight him for presents? Maybe it's because he's not actually Father Winter right now. It must have been a bug on my lot, and it's almost 2 a.m., so Winterfest is almost over. All right, well, whatever. Oh, we can already make the Spellcaster one. Is that because we are a Spellcaster? Uh, we're going to have to change into all the other occults in order to make all the other Nectars. All right. I guess we have to. Okay, maybe we'll have Princess become best friends with Hayden. And that'll get her into the next stage of her aspiration. Okay, then she needs to become friends with two adults and three children. Okay, we finally made 50 excellent bottles of nectar. Time to start selling. I don't think I'm going to have to use Duplicado. That Vitality Nectar is worth like 20,000 simoleons once it's moderately aged. This one's worth 41,000. That's ridiculous. Well, that aspiration is finished. And I didn't even finish selling all my Nectars. I didn't need to Duplicado anything. Well, I guess I'll just put all of them in there and age them up. And maybe we'll use them. I wasn't done making them either. I need some valerian root in order to make the caster one. So I need three valerian roots. Okay, she is friends with River. Why am I not getting credit for that? Maybe she became friends before I got to that point in the aspiration. That's annoying. Well, let's see. Does she know any children? Okay, the next aspiration that we have to do is the five-star property owner. So we need to buy some residential rentals. Okay, there's these two, which, yeah, they're kind of crappy, but hey, we bought this. And it already has tenants upstairs. So I'm not going to worry about making this too elaborate. We'll just deal with the default. So we need to handle a maintenance event and perform an inspection pass. But we have class in about an hour. Maybe we can do the inspection really quick. All right, well, that was easy. Okay, while we're waiting for our paranormal investigator thing to start, we'll just run a few food sales and we need to convince five people to buy something. But I think you can only do that every once in a while, so this might be slow going. I don't even have my prices marked up at all and I can't convince anyone to buy anything. This stuff is cheap. I mean, this guy bought something, but he bought it on his own, so it didn't count as convincing him to buy it. I have good charisma, and I have good research and debate. What is up with this? Okay, and we have our final grades. I cannot convince a single person to buy anything. Well, that was disappointing. Okay, I started a food sale at my residential rental. Maybe I can be a little bit more persuasive here. The lighting is really bad, though. Let me try a 25% markup. Maybe they're buying it too much without me convincing it. I don't really need the money. I just need to progress in this aspiration. Please buy my fizzy drinks. They're extremely reasonably priced. And yet no one buys anything when I convince them to buy. Maybe I should try waffles or pizza. Maybe those are easier to convince people to buy. When I'm making friends, that's not good. 
Okay, I'm going to have to go to work soon. So we'll have to wrap up the sale and try something else. A lot of ghosts are showing up, though. When I did this with Beatrice in my Tiny Town Let's Play, I didn't see very many ghosts show up. I had to actually get one of the other Tiny Towners that was a ghost in order to sell them Ambrosia. I'm running out of stuff to sell. I'm definitely going to have to get a pizza or a waffle maker. Why do they always buy it when I don't convince them to buy it? That doesn't make sense. They're just buying like crazy. But I didn't convince a single person to buy anything. Alright, I'm going to have to call this quits. Well, you have quite a mess on your hands. Okay, there's a sewage leak. So maybe that will count as a maintenance event. I don't know if it does or not. Okay, so we have to fix the toilet. We're just going to replace it. And that was not a maintenance event. Oh well. Okay, Peter's actually ready to graduate early. And so now we can apply to university. Okay, and we should get him a job because I'm not sure if reaching the top of a part-time career will count, but we should at least attempt it. So what lets us go to work late in the day? Well, maybe we'll do a barista because I think that will provide the easiest way of getting to top level of a career. We're already level two. We just need to reach level two mixology. So let me send him to practice some mixology. I'm trying to get these ghosts to go away, but they just won't go away. Unfortunately, we're losing Charles. Okay, so some of my chickens are being taken away by Grim. Finally, I convinced someone to buy something. Okay, the convinced to buy seems to be working a lot better now. I have no idea why. Maybe because she's very confident? Okay, that's three down. Just two more to go. I wonder if I change to fortune and fabulously wealthy if it will complete right away. Probably not. All right, well, it did go up to level three out of four because he's earned 115,303 simoleons. Well, maybe if I just sell a cup full of nectar bottles because that counts. And there we go, aspiration achieved. All right, so did you get your, yes, child completed an aspiration. Right now, tend your food cell, Carla. Now we just need to reach the top of a career. Okay, so now we need to earn 500 simoleons during a single food sale and sell a poor quality item for 100 simoleons. We need a poor quality item first. So, time to look in the dumpsters. Oh, we already got something that is poor quality. The only problem is it's only worth 10 simoleons. Well, time to mark up some prices. It's only worth 40 simoleons. Okay. Well, we'll have to get something that's worth a little bit more than that. Oh, we got a garden salad that's poor and mushroom soup that's spoiled. Okay, now we just need to sell the poor quality item. We made more than 500 simoleons during that food sale. And she keeps dropping the 10 table out of her queue. It's driving me nuts. I think it's due to the scare seeker lot trait. Because it seems like it puts it in their queue to get something every time. But I don't know. Well, it looks like this is one of my houses in Newcrest. I filled all the houses in Newcrest with kind of like a, a project type house. So they're a little bit run down and not very elaborate, but they work. Well, that seems entirely too easy. Oh, well. I get a bunch of specter sips out of it. Okay, the next one we're going to do is the culinary arts degree. Ooh, Galaxy Mirror Glaze four-tier round cake is worth 300 simoleons. All right, that's awesome. Okay, now we need to resurrect a ghost by selling Ambrosia 
and earn 10,000 simoleons by completing food sales. But if you sell the ambrosia, you're basically going to get it. And then we need to make sure the price markup is 300% and we need to sell one meal for 300 simoleons. Okay, we need a ghost. There was lots of ghosts around earlier, but now, unfortunately, there's not. Okay, and there we have another disaster. All right. Okay, can I please get a ghost to come to my food sale? Probably not, but you never know. Okay, I don't think anybody but the ghosts will buy the ambrosia. Okay, we sold the ambrosia. Someone bought it that was not a ghost. Oh well. Okay, we have arrived at the Vinchwick Fair. And why can I not click on the coop? Oh, you can't click on the coop. All right, so you have to submit your chickens here. Okay, I've already had first place in the chicken competition, so I'm just going to submit a regular chicken and then a rainbow egg. And then it is time to do my homework and wait for everything to end. While we're doing our homework, we'll leave the neighborhood confidant aspiration active because if you get a phone call in order to influence someone and then someone calls you back, it increments this counter. So we might get that for free. Okay, Finchwick Fair should be over soon. Why am I not getting my notification? All right, we got a participation chicken ribbon, which is good. And a participation egg competition ribbon for a rainbow egg. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to do better next time. Carla's just finishing up her homework in preparation for her next week at university. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.